Hey everybody, this is Doug Keeling, and today we're going to leverage the power of Photoshop's Transform Again feature to do some cool stuff and hopefully clear up some of the issues that people have had on some of my other tutorials. This is really a handy tip for a variety of applications here, so let's just jump in. So first of all, I've created some definitions here. So you've got your keyboard shortcuts and what they do. So Command T is Free Transform. Um, that's accessible under the Edit menu and under Free Transform. That brings up the bounding box to, for you to do stuff with it. Um, and then you've got under the Transform menu, you've got Transform again, which you can see is Command Shift T. And I'm just gonna base these off the Mac. Obviously it's Control and Alt if you're doing this on a PC. Okay, so again, let's cover this. Command T is free transform. Command Option T is a free transform of a duplicate of your selected item. So it's actually going to create a duplicate. If you're in a shape, it's going to create a duplicate shape. If you're on a, a regular layer, it's going to create a duplicate layer of what you're working on. Command Shift T transforms the selected item again. So if you've moved it 20 pixels, if you press um, transform again, Command Shift T, it's going to move at 20 pixels. Command Shift Option T transforms a duplicate of the selected item again. So you're going to keep your existing item and you're going to move a new item over 20 pixels if that's what you had done. So let's look at, at an example of this. So I've got this shape up here and if I switch over to the path selection tool you can see that these are two shapes. I want to create a repeating brick pattern. Okay, so what I could do obviously is just move, copy and paste these and move them all over, but I want to create a repeating pattern all in the same shape layer. So I'm going to make sure I keep right in my shape tools. I'm always going to have the path selection tool. I'm not going to go to the move tool because if I use the move tool, I'm actually going to create new layers of, of this and I don't. I don't want to do that. I want to keep it all in the same pattern, um, same shape layer. So let's just zoom in here a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command Option T and this is going to not just free transform but free transform a duplicate. So Command Option T and that brings up the, the, uh, the bounding box for us to transform it and I'm going to move it over by however many pixels it takes here to get the sort of mortar joint that I want between my bricks. So that looks pretty good. And now I'm just going to zoom back out and now I'm going to show you how this transform again function works. So if I just press Command Shift T to transform again, it's going to move my blocks over. But I don't want to do that. I want to create a duplicate of it and not just move those selected items. So let's undo that. And instead of Command Shift T, I'm going to press Command Option Shift T. And this is going to transform again with a duplicate. And then you just keep hitting that over and over until you have this repeating pattern. Now I want to create the um, vertical um, repeating uh, pattern here, so I'm going to copy these. I'm going to just press Command Option T to free transform a duplicate. So Command Option T, and then I'm going to use my Shift key and the arrow key to just move this down to where I want it to be, right there. So now Photoshop knows that if I'm going to transform anything again, I'm going to move it down by that amount. So now I can just again press Command Shift Option T to move a duplicate. And again, if I just hit Command Shift T, I'm going to move the selected item. I don't want to do that. I want to create the duplicate. So I'm going to press Command Option Shift T and just keep doing that. And then all of a sudden, within a matter of seconds, you have this nice pattern that you've created with relatively no work other than a, a few um, a few move actions. So. What else can you do with free transform? Well, I created this sort of an example, so maybe you want to create a pattern that's that's like this. Um, so let's just click on that layer, and I'm just going to delete everything off here. Select all these items, and just leave it so that we only have one item at the very top. Now I've created a guide that's just in the center of this, and so I want to re uh, rotate this around this center axis that I've created. So how are we going to do that? Um, so with my shape selected, I'm just going to press that Command Option T to transform a duplicate of this. And then I'm going to move my anchor point. And um, it can be hard to move anchor points, especially when it's a small shape and, and you've got a guide on here sometimes. 
So a quick uh, tool, a uh, useful tip is that if you just press the option button while you've got your, your shape selected, um, if you click anywhere with your mouse, you see the, the uh, cursor transforms to this move anchor point tool and you can just literally move the anchor point wherever you click. So I want to put it, you know, relatively in the center there. It doesn't matter if it's exact. And now I want to transform a duplicate of this. So I'm just going to press um, Command Option T here to, to move that. And I'm going to hold down my Shift key to um, rotate this in increments of 15 degrees. If you don't hold the Shift key, you can move it you know, anywhere um, in that. But I'm going to hold Shift to constrain it to 15 degrees. And now Photoshop's going to know that I'm going to move my next transformation. If I do a next transformation, I'm going to move it 15 degrees around this point in the canvas. So I'm just going to go ahead and click enter to, to do that. And now I want to transform this, this thing again and create a duplicate of it. So again, command option shift T and just keep going to town. Just keep pressing that over and over and over again. And in a matter of seconds, now you have your completed circular pattern or, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to create there. Okay, so some of the other things that you can do, say I want to create a kind of a repeating line pattern that kind of goes off um, sort of in the, into the distance or does something crazy like that. So I've just drawn this line, which is a shape without a fill. So it's just got a stroke on it. And I'm just going to do a command option T to free transform a duplicate of that. And um, you'll see what happens here. In this case, I've got, I've still, I'm still using my path selection tools. So things are going to look a little funky here because what happens when you have multiple lines in a shape layer, it's going to try to close the paths for you and do some, some interesting things like that. So if I move my anchor point somewhere up there, um, it already starts to mess up our line. So this is a good example of what not to do if you, depending on what the application is. So I want to move this line, but I actually want to do it with the move tool selected rather than the um, shape tools, because this is actually going to create multiple layers with the lines on it rather than multiple lines in one shape layer. Okay, so command option T to free transform that. I'm going to move my anchor point maybe somewhere up here. I'm going to scale it down a little bit and rotate it up and that should be fine. And now you can see it created this line copy layer. And again, that's because I have the move tool selected and not the path selection tool selected. If I had the path selection, we would have two lines. They'd still be on the same shape layer, um, this line shape layer. All right, now I'm just going to do the command option shift T thing to create a duplicate of that. And you can see what it kind of does there to create a pretty cool um, pattern. You can just keep going. Okay, so now moving on to the example that was basically used in the super text tutorial. This is kind of the same idea. And I'll show you um, kind of what I, I'm assuming one of the problems people were running into. They were transforming the shape inside the shape layer and adding new paths into that shape layer, but they weren't transforming, um, they, they weren't duplicating the layer itself to retain that bevel and emboss effect that we have on this. So let's just zoom in here. We'll just zoom in quite a bit. Let me bring this over. So if I have the path selection tool pulled up and I'm going to transform this, so I'm going to do the command option T to transform a duplicate of this. I'm going to go one pixel over, one pixel down. And if I just keep doing that with the command option shift T, you can see it moves it, but we're not getting the effect that we want. Uh, I'll just keep doing this over a couple times and uh, just hide those so I can see this. And instead of getting a boxy looking thing where we're, we've got, you know, the, the layers building up to create this 3D effect, we're not getting that. We're just getting a bunch of shapes um, that are all together in the same shape layer. And so that bevel and emboss is being applied to all the, the combination of all these shapes combined. It's not doing us any good because we're not getting that 3D effect that we want. So let's just undo that and go back to, to the beginning and let's try that again. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, make sure that layer is selected and I'm going to switch this time to the move tool. 
We don't want to transform the shape or do any work on the path. We just want to transform this layer and create duplicates of it. So now with the move tool, I'm going to do my command option T, move it down and over one time and you can see automatically that created a new layer for us. That's what we wanted. We didn't want to create a new shape on the same shape layer. We wanted to actually duplicate the layer altogether. So now let's just go ahead and do that over and over again, the command option shift T and there we've got layers racking up to no end and let's just keep doing it and that's perfect. See that's what we actually wanted. We wanted this um, to, to give us that 3D effect by using that bevel and emboss and just duplicating it over and over again. So rather than getting that shape that's all combined and the bevel and emboss being applied to the sum of all of those different shapes, in this case we have um, all of these uh, various shapes on different layers with the bevel and emboss still applied to them. And then we can go ahead and do our, uh, let me see, our arrangement here to reverse these and get a little different take on it. So there, if you reverse the layers, then you've got it. 3D but going back the other direction. So um, I hope that this was helpful to you in kind of clarifying what these different shortcuts do and uh, hopefully I didn't make any more confusion in there but again just to recap you've got your command T which is a free transform. You've got command option T which is a free transform of a duplicate of whatever you're looking at whatever selected or you can do a transform again, which is command shift T, which transforms the current selected item over and over again. So it's just going to move it over and over again. Or you can do a command shift option T, which is going to transform a duplicate over and over again and, uh, and leave, you know, the existing things in place. All right, I hope this was helpful to you. Please be sure to like this video, consider subscribing to my channel, and uh, let me know what other kinds of tutorials you would like to see in the future. Thanks!